Hello, um, welcome to this uh, series of physics video and tutorials. Um, I have encountered physics uh, 22 years ago during my high school year and I fall in love with physics. Teaching is my passion and uh, my first love, especially uh, physics. So let's try to know what physics is. Physics basically came from the word physicus, a Greek word which actually means nature. Everything is nature, right? How, how nature works, how things work. So in physics, we try to explain, we try to study everything. Okay? But let's have the proper definition of physics. So physics is the study of matter, energy and its interaction so we try to study from the very smallest particle atoms molecules to the largest objects and phenomena in nature such as stars galaxies and the universe we try to answer some of the questions like for example how did the universe begin how will it end during the ancient times, humans have been trying to explain our nature, even our existence. The Bible can provide answer to this question. In Genesis, God said, let there be light. Well, in science, we, all, we are also trying to explain or to answer this question. The accepted theory is the Big Bang Theory, which states that in the beginning, there was an explosion of energy. It seems to state, let there be energy, let there be light. Perhaps science is the new religion trying to know God, trying to explain its creation, how nature works, and what are the laws of nature. Now, how will the universe end? There is a theory of the big crunch, which uh, where in the universe, keep on expanding and then there will come a time that it will implode, it will suck in all the, the matter that it has. But let's revise the question on how will the human race end? How will our planet end? Now for our planet, we know that the sun is just an average age star and then when it, it becomes uh, older, when it grows older, there will come a time, perhaps after another 4 billion years, it will become a red giant covering the distance of Mars, Jupiter, and engulfing our planet. But perhaps, perhaps that's uh, billions of years ahead of us. How about comets and asteroids? We have seen the evidence 65 million years ago, the race of the dinosaurs ended because of an asteroid that hits our planet. What if a planet hits, or what if a, a a comet hits our planet, right? Then there, then we don't need to worry about pandemic. We were gonna die all anyway. For example, the Halley's comet enters the solar system, and in a way it threatens everything along its path. Our planet Earth, it threatens us every seventy-six years. We have to, in in physics, we try to answer these questions. Another question can be, what is a black hole? These are cosmology and questions in astronomy. Is uh, time travel possible? By the way, I will not answer this, but perhaps if you have some idea, if you want to answer this, just comment down below. Another question would be, is time travel possible? Well, everything is possible. The question now is, is it probable? Do we have the technology to move a body or a particle faster than the speed of light. What do you think? Comment down below if you think it is highly improbable or is it probable? Do you think uh, there will come a time that we will have the technology to travel back in time or to travel to the future, move faster than the speed of light? Just comment down below. Um, another question is, in, for example, in biology, the cell phones cause brain cancer, the radiation from cell phone. Perhaps I can answer this as a medical physicist. Our cell phone uses radio frequency 
types of radiation, RF, or radio frequency radiation, that we use to send signals when we communicate, we text, we call our family or friends, and sometimes we watch a video here in YouTube, we use radio frequency uh, radiation. Now, RF is a non-ionizing radiation. What is non-ionizing? Non-ionizing means it does not have enough energy to cause ionization, to cause damage to the DNA. Okay? It doesn't cause damage to the DNA. And we have proven this with epidemiological studies, cellular laboratory studies, and animal studies. There is no known mechanism for it uh, to ionize the DNA. Okay? The effect of radio frequency radiation is heating effects. Just like your microwave, but radio frequency intensity in cell phones are very low. Studies have shown that uh, less than 0.1 degrees Celsius is the increase in body temperature if you're using your cell phone. And that is insignificant because our body can regulate this temperature, this temperature change. Okay? But perhaps if you use too much cell phone, that you don't sleep anymore and you get stressed, uh, perhaps indirectly it will, it will cause you cancer or other disease. So, uh, you know, everything that is too much is not good for us. But it's not the radiation from cell phones. So don't worry about that radiation. Another question would be perhaps biology, existence. Is there life in other planets somewhere else? In my 13 years of teaching, sometimes I encounter students who answer this that like something like this life is too beautiful for god to limit it to planet earth and uh, i think there is life somewhere else but it's just very far away that we cannot see them we have seen the emissions of liquid water from the different parts of the universe so liquid water is, is abundant in the universe when i was uh, studying biology first year I've read this uh, biology book that there are at least uh, 10,000 probability that there will be or there is a similar condition somewhere in the universe for life to exist. So 10,000 possible Earth in the universe. So there, these are some of the questions which we try to answer in physics. Are we alone? So this is my first entry. Welcome to the world of physics, and I hope you're going to enjoy me and uh, watch my next video. Okay, and then perhaps I will give some tips uh, for the students of physics, and especially for my students and for my former students. I hope you can watch this. These, these are some of my, my tips in studying uh, physics. Uh, preparation for the course, so you can review your mathematics uh, subject, especially algebra and trigonometry if you're studying general physics. For advanced uh, physics course, perhaps uh, you will need to have some background of calculus and differential equations. Next tip is learning to learn. You have to try different ways of learning, whichever works for you. Because as you know, physics is hard, but it can be fun. And it can be easier, okay, or simpler, if you know what works for you. You know how you learn faster, efficiently, right? And uh, another tip is working with others. If you you are stuck in a problem, perhaps you can ask help, discuss the problems with your group mates, with your classmates. It's always good to collaborate with your with others, right? And then lectures and taking down notes. So you have to have your own notebook. It will help you a lot. Where when you listen to the lectures, take down some notes and perhaps rewrite it again. That's what I did. To survive and to ace uh, physics i usually wrote it in a recycled paper and then when i come home i rewrite it and i follow the step the procedure on how my professor solved the problem so it it works for me i usually get the highest uh, grade and scores for physics because that works for me and uh, uh you can try that taking down notes and uh, perhaps it will work for you i have proven it myself perhaps i have uh you know i have notebooks here that's just like 2004 so how many years ago more than 10 years so i still have my notebook in physics how about uh, in preparation for your examination some tips would be prepare for exam by solving problems try it try to solve problems uh, think of physics as 
when you know when you practice playing your favorite sport like let's say volleyball the more you play it's a skill the more you you become better so in physics the more you solve problems the better you will become in solving problems in your exams and uh yeah physics is hard but try to enjoy studying physics it is the world around you see beyond equations see what's the meaning of this equation these are not just symbol this represents the laws of nature okay so see you again that's the end of our uh, uh series for today this is my first time so i'm quite excited so i hope to see you again in our i don't know physics tuesday uh, just comment down below how do you want this series to be called this is my first videos okay so choose uh bye bye